Good morning, oil traders. It is Monday, October 16th at 8.03 a.m. Eastern Time. And as you can see, we are making we're, we're making highs. Um, we uh, cracked through $52 as of the opening in, in uh, Europe. And apparently, going based off of news, the catalyst for all this is new fighting in Iraq. So that's giving uh, kind of new wind to the bulls and they've made it through 52 and it seems like they're going to hang on to that. And as I'm speaking, we are making new highs again at 52.33 at this very moment. Um, I started uh, writing my notes when we were at 52.22. That was kind of the resistance level and we're 10 cents higher already. So maybe we are on our way to 53 by the time we open here in North America. Um, that being said, that being said, um, as you can imagine, I'm quite frustrated not having um, bought long last week. But uh, at least I was patient with my short buy, and I will be buying short today. Um, I'll be buying short, and I'll be buying a slightly larger position than I did on uh, Thursday. And the reason for that is twofold. One is it gives me the opportunity to sell a portion of that short position if we do fall at least part of the way back down towards 51, um, below 52, of course. And secondly, it's, uh, it's a pretty significant gap over my last short buy, which is below $51, believe it or not. Um, so it's strategically it makes sense in regards to kind of my longer term trading strategy if you want to call it that. Um, obviously right now it's kind of dismal for me and uh, it's it's really difficult at, at these very moments to kind of stick to your guns and stick to the long term strategy um, when you're being proven wrong kind of time and time again. So. I have been in this situation several times in the past and it has worked out for me. So I'm going to kind of follow my strategy um, because if I don't, I know that I'm going to regret it and I have done that before as well. Um, basically I deviated from my strategy and ultimately regretted doing so. So I'm going to stick to the plan and uh, stay the course for better or worse. Um, if we continue to climbing, of course, um, assuming we don't get there before we open here in North America, then I'm going to be targeting $53 next. Um, if we do manage to drop uh, back down to at least kind of, let's say, the mid-51s, I'll be looking to exit at least part of the short, assuming I get it, um, as well as buy a long hedge um, as we drop towards 51 or lower, hopefully. <laughs> um, but, uh, you know... To be honest, with the news and this bullishness, I don't necessarily see a big drop in the future today, but hey, who knows? What do you guys think? Hit me up down below in the comments on YouTube or over on tradingjournal.ca where you can find more information on my portfolio, trades, charts, etc., etc. In the meantime, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to stay tuned, and I'll check back with you guys towards end of trading at or before 4 p.m. Eastern Time. Till then, good luck. Cheers.